When you're using a walking bait like a Lucky Dog, a Zara Spook, or even a popping bait like a Papa or something like that, how big a line should you use? Small line or larger line? Good morning, guys and girls. November 2nd. November 2nd. Look at the book of Isaiah. Can any of y'all spell Isaiah real quick? Huh? I-S-A-I-H. <laughs> I did it wrong. I-S-A-I-A-H. That sounds like a hard thing to spell. It is hard to spell. I was writing it down in church the other day, and I wrote it three times before I got it right. I finally had to look in the Bible to get it. Isaiah 49, 16. 49, 16. This is just an absolutely incredible scripture here. Every time I read this scripture, I just it just it just fills my heart with the love of my God. Here's what God says to Isaiah. See, I have written your name on my hand. God has written your name on his hand. He's written my name on his hand. At our Keys High School football game one week, my granddaughter Jordan got into one of her granddad's autograph modes. She was having me sign programs, paper cups, and anything else that she could find. Keep in mind, I wrote this book back in 2005, so that's 16 years ago. She is now teaching in the eighth grade, teaching eighth grade math. But, uh, but anyway, she was just a little girl back then. Of course, she had all of her little friends doing the same thing. So all of these little girls running up to Granddad and getting an autograph on whatever they could find. When they ran out of things for me to autograph, they proudly presented their hands. I oblige by signing with my permanent marker that I carry all the time in my pocket. My permanent marker. Got one here for silver, one here for black. <laughs> I oblige by signing with a permanent marker and now have several moms and dads mad at me, including my own daughter-in-law for writing my name on Jordan's hand. Think about this, though. It's no big deal to have Jimmy Houston's name on your hand. I mean, that's going to wash off, and it did, and it's not a big deal. But think about having your name written on the hand that formed you. Think about your name written on the hand that created the oceans. You can't get any more special than that. You can't get any more special to God than you are. He has your name written on his hand. Just think. Think about this for a second. God looks down and he sees your name right there every single solitary day. Jesus said, fear not, I'm with you always. That's right, he's got your name on his hand. He said, I'll never forsake you. That's right, he's got his, his, your name written on his hand. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. He is thinking about us all the time. We need to be thinking about Him all the time because the more we think about Him, the more we honor God, the more we put God first in our life, the more He'll bless us. God will bless you in spite of yourself many times. But let me tell you, if you're honoring God, if you're putting Him first in your life, you've got your, His name written on your hand, I'm telling you, He's going to bless your socks off. He will bless and bless and bless. Living under the favor of God is the best way you could ever live, no matter who you are, no matter who you are. You will be spiritually prosperous in ways that you can never, ever imagine, more than you could ever think of, more than you can ever think of. You might be prosperous financially, but I promise you, promise you, you'll be spiritually prosperous. God's guaranteed them. Here's our tip for today. Larger line, larger line works better on Popars and Zara Spooks, Lucky Dogs, walking type baits. Now I'm not talking about 30 or 40 pound test line. I'm talking about 15, 17, maybe even 20 pound test line. Particularly on a Zara Spook, I think you're better off with 20 pound test line. But on, on, even on a Popar, 15 pound test line works better than say eight or 10 pound test line. Those little baits like that, like a Popar's got a tendency to catch the wind a little bit and it makes it makes it a little bit more difficult to throw and you'll backlash a little bit easier. You always backlash worse with the smaller line than you do the larger line. On a Zara Spook, it's a bait you can throw a mile, 
a little bit heavier line allows you to do that a little bit better allows you to work that bait a little bit better too so 15 17 maybe even 20 pound test line on a lucky dog or a spook on a pop bar 12 15 pound test line works great guys and girls go out there and have you a great one today it's getting a little cooler getting a little cooler but we have a beautiful day here in oklahoma we have rain forecast that's right rain forecast i love it clouds rolling in right now a little chilly but i love it remember i sure do love it.